As we bring in the new year, now is the perfect time to reflect on how South Los Angeles is changing this year and years to come. This time around, the region has some massive updates around housing, transportation improvements, and new community resources. Let's jump in. First up, the Evermont Housing Development. In August of 2022, co-developer Bridge Housing, the Coalition for Responsible Community Development, and Prime Store Development broke ground on this new 180-unit mixed-use development on Vermont and Manchester Avenues, a section of the region that was hit hard during the 92 uprising, leading this once-bustling commercial corridor into a declining shadow of its former self. But now we're seeing some actionable investments taking place in the community. The residential portion of the development will include 62 affordable senior homes, 60 apartments for individuals in need of supportive services, and the remaining apartments reserved for low-income tenants. On the bottom, developers are planning 64,000 square feet of commercial space with a target anchoring the commercial activity. And while we're on this topic, let's not forget that this isn't the first time a development was planned at this intersection. In 2015, developer Sassany Properties planned an expansive outdoor mall, but the dream fell short and failed to make any progress and the land was left vacant. Well, who likes the carpool lane on the 105 freeway? Well, enjoy it while you can. In August of 2022, the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority, LA Metro, contracted construction companies Flatiron and Myers & Son Construction to convert the carpool lane on the highway between the 405 freeway interchange in Norwalk into a fast-track express lane, just like the one on the 110 freeway. This project first surfaced in 2018, and LA Metro conducted an environmental study in 2020. Based on a request for proposal submitted by a bidding contractor, this project will begin in early 2024 and be phased through 2028, likely aiming at a full completion just before the 2028 Olympics in LA. In 2022, I published a video on an active corridor that LA Metro has planned on Slauson Avenue. Well, into the new year, there hasn't been noticeable progress made, but there is news on a new recreation center along the active corridor trail. The Slauson Connect Recreation Center is planned along the active corridor on Slauson Avenue between Butlong and Normandy Avenues. Championed by the 9th District, this recreation center will have a childcare area, classrooms, an outdoor playground, and a rooftop garden. There's no word on when this project is slated to be completed, but it's likely that it will be finished along with the active corridor by 2024. Last year, we talked about the K-Line development, but this year we'll start seeing Destination Crenshaw's public art exhibit come into fruition. On a 1.3 mile stretch of Crenshaw Boulevard between Slauson Avenue and 43rd Street, Destination Crenshaw has partnered with several stakeholders to create an open-air museum that chronicles the black art and experience in a series of exhibits and open parks. While the project isn't set to be complete this year, CNN has reported that Sankofa Park and the four pocket parks of Destination Crenshaw will open by the fall of 2023. In Watts, Kaiser Permanente is making progress on its Watts Medical Offices and new Kaiser Permanente Watts Counseling and Learning Center. In September of 2022, Kaiser completed the framework for the building and the healthcare organization is expecting the center to open in early 2024. Later this year on the south side of town, you'll see an opening for the Isla intersection, the 53-unit supportive housing development built from shipping containers. This project is well behind schedule. It was supposed to be finished in 2022, but it's adding an interesting flair to the Broadway Manchester neighborhood. And that wraps up our list of projects happening in South LA. If I missed any, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys around on the recap.